Maddie kids, it's week 11 already. Time to start getting ready for some fantasy playoffs. It's your Saturday injury review, preview, update, overview thing. Um, and uh, we'll start out obviously the bye weeks, Carolina, Indiana, Indianapolis, uh, the New York Jets and San Francisco 49ers will not play this week. No more buys. That's it. This is the last bye week. So going forward, uh, you can avoid the buy. So start whittling your rosters down, getting rid of uh, extraneous pieces as you prepare for your playoff run. Uh, and add pieces that might be of value. You don't necessarily need two defenses anymore. You don't need two kickers if you were rostering two. Uh, don't really need two quarterbacks in most leagues. And let's say, you know, 12 team leagues or less, uh, standard uh, playing kind of leagues, uh, super flex notwithstanding. So start thinking about that kind of, uh, those kind of issues. And uh, we'll talk about some of the injury issues uh, and other things that are going on this week. Uh, we'll start out in Cleveland, where Leonard Fournette is listed as questionable. This sounds dicey, people. Uh, first of all, the weather is going to be horribly cold. It's uh, cold, windy, snow coming in, uh, in Cleveland. So the Jacksonville Jaguars, Leonard Fournette does not like the cold. He also has a hurt ankle. He's listed as questionable. They held him out Friday, they say as a precaution. Uh, this one is one you want to watch. Uh, have a standby ready. They held him out, you know, he, he played last week, didn't play that well. Uh, apparently tweaked the ankle that was already, uh, has been a lingering issue for a while. So. Just keep an eye on this one. You know, if, uh, if all the running backs are uh, active, even, even if Leonard Fournette's active, but let's say T.Y. Yeldon and Chris Ivory and Corey Grant are all active, uh, it's a little bit of concerning, you know, start thinking it through a little bit. But um, beyond that, Alan Hearns is ruled out. They also prom activated D.D. Westbrook. This is the first week he'll be eligible. I don't know that you want to force him into roster, uh, on, the, on the lineups. I mean, he was very good this preseason. Uh, my Football Diehards radio co-host on Sirius, Mike Dempsey, who covers the Jags on a daily basis, thinks highly of them. Uh, the Jags don't throw a lot, ideally, and this is not going to be a great day for that. So Marquise Lee is off the injury report. He's fine as well. They also uh, added another practice squad player, Pinker, a wide receiver. So, uh, But Westbrook is going to be available. Um, other side of the ball, everyone's good to go for Cleveland. We'll see if they can do anything passing attack. Passing against the Jaguars in general is not good. <clears throat> Cleveland passing against the Jaguars, probably not even... Probably not gooder. Uh, Corey Coleman will return this week for the Browns. He's active. Josh Gordon will begin practicing next week. He's eligible early next month to return. Uh, for the Washington Redskins, a lot of guys uh, ruled out already. Uh, Terrell Pryor, Jordan Reed ruled out. Uh, Pryor talking this morning like he's concerned. He's going to visit a foot specialist on Monday uh, and see maybe cost him the rest of the season. Not that you'd notice, right? Um, beyond that, Niles Paul, Ryan Grant, both listed as questionable. Brian Quick, questionable. So, they need some of these guys to come through. Uh, but Vernon Davis, obviously a good play every week. There is no, no Jordan Reed. In fact, he's a pretty good play weeks when there is a Jordan Reed, right? So keep that in mind. Other side of the ball, everyone's good to go for New Orleans. It's in, in New Orleans. Uh, the Arizona Cardinals going against the Houston uh, Texans <clears throat> for the Cardinals. Uh, Drew Stanton's out. Well, he's listed as questionable, but he's not going to start. Uh, the, the only question is if he'll be the backup or not to Blaine Gabbert, who will start. Uh, has a big arm. Oh, we'll see if he gets a chance. Texans defense, not all that daunting. Uh, John Brown listed as questionable with a sore back. <clears throat> He's a player to watch leading up to kickoff. Larry Fitzgerald is a guy that you can still start. I don't know beyond that. You know, Adrian Peterson, of course. But in the passing attack, it's been a little hit and miss. I don't know if Blaine Gabbert makes that any easier to figure out this week. On the other side of the ball, Will Fuller's out. Has a rib injury. Bruce Ellington is a guy to watch opposite DeAndre Hopkins, who will still be heavily targeted, even with Patrick Peterson covering him. You know, his success is to be determined, but, but it's safe to say he'll be heavily targeted. But they do want to get more out of Bruce Ellington. And Alfred Blue, also questionable, but he kind of fell back behind Deontay Foreman in that rotation anyhow. Jameis Winston, still out. Um, some off-field issues, go to the site and read up on those if you want. But nothing that will impact his return, it doesn't appear, when he's ready to return. That's not yet. Mike Evans is back this week from his suspension. Ryan Fitzpatrick will continue as a starter. It's a great matchup against Miami. Great matchup for both sides of the ball. Kenny Stills on the other side of the ball. Questionable. Tweaked his back on Thursday. Uh, he sounds optimistic. Adam Gay sounds a little iffy. So that's one you'll have to watch in the 90 minutes leading up to kickoff. I will have that, of course, on the main page of the website. Uh, as I do all the inactives of note, and uh, we have the full inactive list available as they're posted by the NFL as well. Uh, for the Detroit Lions, going up against the Chicago Bears, uh, Dwayne Washington's been ruled out. <clears throat> Hurt his hip last week. He's had a hard time staying on the field. Uh, Amir Abdul on a little bit of a touchdown roll, at least, so that's worth noting. Bears not easy to run against. On the other side of the ball, Deion Sims still hasn't practiced. He was inactive last week, didn't practice all last week with an illness, didn't practice again this week. He listed as questionable. Don't bet on him playing Daniel Brown, Adam Shaheen, amongst others. 
will fill that role. Dontrell Emman uh, showed up last week, so that's kind of interesting. But he'll be uh, facing Darius Slay this week. I don't know if that'll work out real well for him. But interesting to see if receiver finally step up. Maybe they'll start to, uh, testing opponents deep. If they do, Jordan Howard maybe has a chance to make a little hay. Uh, for the Green Bay Packers, going against the Baltimore Ravens, we've got Ty, Ty Montgomery has been ruled out. Aaron Jones will miss three to six weeks with a knee injury. Uh, Montgomery, the ribs, don't think that'll be long-term. But for now, Jamal Williams gets his shot. Uh, looked pretty good last week coming in in relief of those two guys. So uh, Devontae Mays probably be in the mix as well. Watch for that. On the other side of the ball, Danny Woodhead has been activated. So Woodhead is back. Uh, the talk amongst the, uh, those who follow the team closely is Woodhead's more likely to cut into Buck Allen's playing time as a receiving threat. Uh, had three catches on six snaps in the first game. So, uh, so, you know, he'll have a role. Alex Collins is still expected to play the between-the-tackles guy. They don't use him much at the goal line, though, and maybe Allen will still have some work there. <clears throat> Woodhead's pretty good at the goal line as well. Late afternoon kickoffs, Phillip Rivers. For going up against Buffalo, that's in Los Angeles. Rivers is listed officially as questionable, but he's been fully cleared. That came after the injury designations were handed out. He got the independent and just uh, okay, the approval. So he's good to go in that one. Uh, the other side of the ball, Nathan Peterman, rookie, will start a quarterback, replacing Tyrod Taylor. This is going to be interesting. Uh, Sean McDermott, the head coach, uh, the team is, you know, in, in the playoff hunt, and he's making a quarterback change. Very interesting uh, to see how that'll play out. Uh, he did target Kelvin Benjamin a fair amount. You would expect uh, LaShawn McCoy to be very busy with a rookie quarterback in there if they can get him going. Beyond that, uh, Charles Clay and Jordan Matthew both listed as questionable <clears throat> with knee injuries, practiced on a limited basis. Uh, Mike Tolbert has been ruled out for this one, so Traveris Cadet probably backing up McCoy. Uh, in Mexico City, uh, the, the high altitude. Uh, the Patriots remain in Colorado to work out there to stay acclimated to the Altitude, Danny Amendola list is questionable. Martellus Bennett list is questionable. Knee and the shoulder and hamstring for Bennett. They both played through the injuries last week. Chris Hogan's already been ruled out. Matthew Slater, special teams guy, is also a wide receiver, but not really. Uh, he, he won't play either. So if there is no Amendola, they'll be pretty damn thin at wide receiver. So I'm guessing he'll play. They haven't made any corresponding moves. Watch the main page site to see if anything happens along those lines. For the Cincinnati Bengals at Denver, uh, the no-fly zone, uh, Brandon LaFell goes in there, questionable. I don't know how eager you are to play any uh, wide receivers in this game. Hell, any skill players. Uh, it's pretty tough defense. I know they've given up some points the last two games. Still pretty good defense. They'll be at home, so watch that one. Uh, on the other side of the ball, Cody Latimer and A.J. Derby both ruled, or, or AJ, A.J. Derby ruled out, uh, as was Jeff Hireman. Uh, they waived Derby this morning and promoted Austin Taylor from the practice squad, so they'd have another body tight end. Cody Latimer's questionable. Should play. He's been playing a little bit of a role the last couple of weeks, so uh, it'd be interesting to see if he's available. But look, uh, Emmanuel Sanders is coming on. Seems to have a good connection with Brock Osweiler. Uh, Demarius Thomas will be there, so don't get too excited about Cody Latimer, I guess I'm saying. Uh, Alshon Jeffrey listed as questionable for the Sunday night game against Dallas. It's a lingering angle issue. Uh, Doug Peterson kind of downplayed the injury, but... It's something to watch. We all want a piece of this offense. You know, Carson Wentz has thrown 23 touchdowns. It would be great if he had all his weapons intact. Zach Ertz will, will play this week uh, off the injury report by the end of the week. Uh, Jeffrey's the guy will be watching in the 90 minutes. Up to kickoff. Other side of the ball, Des Bryant off the injury report. Tyron Smith listed as questionable. Not expected to play. We saw what a disaster that was. The left tackle out last week. They're going to go to Bron Byron Bell over Chaz Green. Uh, Green gave up a number of the sacks from Matt Claiborne last week, so... So, you know, look, they'll scheme up and they'll try and figure out some ways, but it's going to be a pretty tough, uh, tough sled against this defense as well. It's pretty tough. Uh, wouldn't scare me off guys like Alfred Morris or Dak Prescott, uh, but it's going to be a tough game. Monday night game, Eddie Lacy uh, has a groin issue. He's working his way back. Uh, Russell Wilson, the jaw, not an issue. Jimmy Graham, the knee, shouldn't be an issue. Uh, Doug Baldwin has a hip, shouldn't be an issue either. Other side of the ball, Devontae Freeman looks like he will not play in the concussion protocol. Watch the main page of the site uh, throughout Saturday afternoon. I'll get the injury report in here shortly and, and have that up. And Julio Jones will play. Uh, it was limited earlier in the week by the same ankle. They were just maintaining it. So there you have it. Uh, ready for week 11. Let's go out and win some money. Let's go out and win some, get in the playoffs. And season long, got a lot of great content up there. Uh, great trade targets article from Jen Ryan, the usual work from Armando Massal, Brad Cruz, John Lobb, myself, Gary Davenport, JJ Buck, you name it. The whole crew is there. 
Um, so don't miss out. And remember, going up to the right up to kickoff throughout the day tomorrow, we'll have all the inactives posted. You can listen to me on Sirius XM Fantasy Force Radio tomorrow from 11 to 1 p.m. Eastern, the pregame show, uh, and I'll have more information there. Uh, but hit the site and hit it hard. I'm Bob Harris, signing off. Good luck.